Okay, everybody, what's good, y'all? Y'all know I'm coming with another salon story. All right. This story is about a dear person that used to be in my life, and she also used to be a friend of mine slash client. Okay. Now, first, let me start off with a little background story about this person. Um, I think the first time I actually did her hair was for her senior prom. And then I did it for like her graduation. So this is just how far back this uh, client goes. Um, far back in her life, rather, because I was older than her still. I think I was, I think I was maybe like five years older than her. So... I don't, I don't remember how she found out about me and how she became my client, but when she, when she became my client, she also became like a good friend to me too. We used to go shopping together, go get our nails done together. Well, you know, I did both of our hair, so it wasn't like we went to get our hair done together, but we used to go out and eat and together. Uh, so, you know, basically we were friends. Okay. So. Here's the juicy part of this story. One day, right after I had got married, I uh, was about to go to Disney World. Like, that's what I did for my uh, anniversary. Uh, we took the kids to uh, Disney World. And so we're in the salon. I'm, I'm uh, doing my last set of clients and stuff, you know. Uh, getting everybody set up for their um, next appointments and everything because I was going to be gone for a whole uh, an entire week so the weekly clients needed to know that um, you know that next the following week that I wasn't going to be there to do their hair or whatever so she happened to be one of the people there getting her hair done so we're sitting in the front now I'm going to pretend like this is what she handed me so she come handing me this like flyer like you know like a like a plugger, whatever you call it, for a party. You know what I'm saying? So she hands it to me like, okay. So she handed it to me, so I'm looking at it. Like, okay. You know, I'm looking at it because I see all these half-naked people on it, first of all. So I'm looking at it like, okay. So I hand it back to her. She gave it to me again. She like, I'm like, okay, why are you giving me this? I'm not going to this or anything. That's what I'm saying to myself. I'm not going to this. So... She said, look at it again. Look at it again. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to look at it again. So I looked at it. I looked a little bit closer. You know, I started reading some stuff. So I wasn't really trying to look at the pictures. Because it was both men and women on, on the thing. You know, on the uh, party plugger thing. So I'm looking at it. And so I spot the hairstyle that I did on her head, right? Then I looked and I saw it was actually her, half naked. Now, man, you, I always saw her fully clothed, so I didn't really recognize her without the clothes on, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, looking like the skimpy outfit, I was like, is that you? Is that you? She was like, yeah. And I was like, looking and reading and flipping the thing over like this, like, what in the world is going on? So she began telling me that she been, she had been wanting to tell me this for a while, but she didn't know how to tell me. So she started giving me some backstory on times when we were together when certain incidents would come up and she thought she was almost busted. So like we would, I'll give you one example right now. We were out one time. We had just came from getting our nails done. And this guy was like, hey, I know you too. I know y'all. So I'm immediately like, I don't know you. You know, I, I know I didn't know him, but she knew him. He was like, I know y'all. He said, I seen y'all last night. I was like, I know he ain't seen me last night, okay? So I'm like, so I'm like, she playing it off like, uh, yeah. Uh-uh, you don't, no, nah, no, nah, you ain't seen me. You ain't seen me. She said, actually, the guy did see her because she had did a show that night. When he said, I saw you last night. And I was like, what? So I said, you had me up here thinking I was going crazy and stuff. Because 
this had happened on several occasions that people were talking to me and her saying that they saw me and her together when in actuality, actuality, I was not with her at these clubs. So, I was like, I don't know who she was with. She must have been with somebody and they were saying, I saw, you know, I saw both of y'all or whatever. So, I'm like, okay. I said, I said, what? You know, I'm like, like, what? For real? So, I couldn't do nothing but just laugh at her because... I was still, like, really shocked that she was doing this, right? So, I was like, I said, why you decide to tell me this right now? I said, you think my plane going to crash or something? I said, you come telling me this, like, you just bringing me this bad news. Like, hey, Mary, look at this. Look at this. So, I'm like, you, what you think? My, you, you trying to make my plane crash? I'm like, don't be just coming in here telling me, oh, girl, I'm a stripper now. She said, well, I ain't want to come out and just say it. And she said, well, I'm using the term exotic dancer. So, you know, some of them want to be called an exotic dancer. So, we're going to call her an exotic dancer, too, okay? An exotic dancer. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, okay. So, you know, I'm sitting there. I'm like, okay. All right. Okay. You told me, girl. Then, you know, we gave, our, gave each other our hugs and stuff. And I went home getting ready, getting prepared for the trip. So, you know... I was trying not to think about it while I was on my trip, but you couldn't help but to think about it and talk about it. So, you know, I'm like thinking about it and like, I just didn't know this about her. I just did not know. So, we, I come home. So, the week went by, I come home. All right, y'all. She comes to get her hair done. You know, we talking, laughing about it and, you know, just joking and stuff, right? And, you know, I, I, was just, I was just like, I'm just, I'm just done. So I had knew about it at this point. So, you know, I'm just done. Did I stop going out with her? No. I mean, like going out, like shopping, eating, getting our nails. I didn't stop doing it, all that stuff because that was our daytime life, right? I mean, that was our daytime life. I didn't go out with her in the evening until one day she asked me, Mary, I don't want you to think that I be doing some type of perverted stuff. I want you to come to me, to one of my shows. Now, man, you out here just got married. So I'm like, come to one of your shows. He should go, yeah. She said, come to one of my shows. She said, it's going to be men and women there. It's not It's not a show for just uh, just women. Women going to be there. It's going to be men and women that are going to be performing. So I was like, well, I don't know about that, you know. Because I hadn't been out in a in a while at that point, you know, because like I had some girlfriends previous to meeting her and she being one of my friends that I used to go out with back then. And I had stopped totally going out with them. And I hadn't been going out like, you know, in the party scene. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I don't know about that, especially that type of party scene. Okay. So I was like, I don't know about that. So I'm like, okay. So she talked me into it. The lockdown was coming up. So she said, Mary, I want you to come to the lockdown. I'm like, okay, I'll go to the lockdown. So I tell my husband, and he looking at me like, what? I was like, she want me to see her show. And she said this, you know, blah, blah, this. I told him everything she said. You know, I could tell he didn't really want me to go, but, you know, he let me go. So I just went, me and her went. We at the lockdown. I'm, you know, a few people came on before, before her. Then I'm waiting on her to come out. So I'm like sitting there like do 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 this a couple of women came out and maybe one man came out then it was her turn. So here she comes. She comes out. You know everything was covered like wasn't no nipple really showing or you know nothing. I think she had on some booty shorts or whatever. Something like that. Some uh some kind of costume like that. So I'm like, okay, she comes out. She's doing her little dance and this, that, and the other. So then, next thing I know, she was standing up for maybe a brief, like, two minutes. Next thing I know, she was on the floor. And when she got on the floor, all the guys bum-rushed the stage. And I'm like, okay, the show that she's telling me, I'm supposed to see this clean, I don't do this type of show. I couldn't even see what she was doing. So... 
Her clean show to me one clean because all the guys apparently was looking at whatever she was doing down on the floor that I didn't get to see, okay? So it wasn't like not one woman was approaching the stage to see what she was doing. So, you know, I wasn't going to be like, oh, let me in so I can see. You know what I'm saying? So I just still sat in my seat or whatever. So then she finished uh, performing her show. Then she came to the sideline and uh, told me, she was like, Mary, come here, come here. I want you to come in the back with me. So I'm like, okay. So I followed her to the back so she could talk to me about what happened or whatever. All right, brace yourself, people. Brace yourself. We goes to the back. Immediately, I walk past so many naked men, naked women. I'm like, everybody's in the back oiling themselves down with baby oil. So I'm like, the hell is going on back here? So then she like, come on, come on. Come on, come to the back. I'm like, okay. So we talking, and I mean... They just in the back, just fully, fully butt naked in the back. Then next thing you know, because she was going to do another show, she in the back too. And her uh, security person or whatever is oiling her down. She's standing here having a conversation with me, butt naked, and I'm looking at him rubbing her down with oil. I was so rudely interrupted in the last video. So, I'm going to have to continue this. So, I'm about to continue it. Okay. This another day, about a week later. I hope my edges and my hair still look the same in this video, too. All right. I just finished looking at the footage of my uh, video that I was doing for you guys. And I think I left off with the butt naked scene that was in the background uh, that I was looking at. So, yeah. If my enthusiasm isn't as like, ooh, y'all, this and that. I'm trying to not to be talking like that because uh, it's late at night and people are trying to sleep. So, if it has a little whispering tone, that's why, okay? Don't want to interrupt the people that have to go to work tomorrow. And if I got a shiny face, hey, I did work today and yeah, it is what it is, okay? All right, let's get into it. Okay, like I said, I just looked at the footage. And where I left off with it was that they were in the back. But to the naked, okay, but naked. And her stage manager, manager, bodyguard, whoever he was, was rubbing her down with this baby oil. And so I'm looking at her because i never seen her naked before. And I'm looking like, are you serious? Now, on one side, she getting rubbed down. But on the other side of me, you can see all the men getting rubbed down. I mean, stuff slinging everywhere, 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 okay? And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, this is too much flesh for me, okay? Too much flesh for me. So I'm like, very, very, very uncomfortable, okay? I'm like, I need to go back out in the front. She was like, no, nah, stay back here. I'm like, no, I need to go back in the front. Sit down. So, I leave because I couldn't take it. So, I'm going back in the front and sit down. I'm like, ooh, Lord have Jesus. Ooh, what did I get myself into? Lord have mercy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, y'all, she comes back out. Basically, the same thing happened. A little tune comes on, the music come on. Next thing you know, she disappears, okay? I'm like, hmm. I can't say that she didn't have a clean act because whatever she was doing on the floor, I couldn't even see it anyway. So then she comes back out, fully dressed in the outfit that we came there in. She was like, see, girl? told you I don't be doing all this nasty stuff and blah blah this. The only difference I seen and sweetheart um I'm just gonna say this in the video I can tell what you was doing on that floor the other girls probably you know the, the only thing they did different they were standing up doing what they were doing and you got on the floor and did what you was doing so yeah 
So I really don't know. But, y'all, there was one heck of a incident to be happening in my life. You know, wherefore I witnessed something like that going on. And I was like, whoa. And needless to say, I never went out with her again. Well, not at night time. Mm-hmm. Not at night time. Hmm. Y'all, my friend moved to the ATL and I haven't seen her in over 17, 18, 19, uh, long years, a long, long time. So I wonder what she's doing now. I sure would like to see her. So. I miss her because even though she was doing what she was doing I really really miss her yeah my friend the stripper slash exotic if you're horny let's do this riding my pony